Hi friends, it's been a while. Welcome to another episode of Oh <laughs> with Art Resin. Today we're going to talk about resin and bubble wrap, the problems that arise and how to fix them. There are certain things in life that are just a general no-no. Texting and driving, ketchup and peanut butter sandwiches, sending nudes to Dave from accounting. Still waiting for yours, buddy, and I don't want to see no shrimp cocktail. And finally, resin and bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is basically the hickeys of the resin world. It will always leave a mark on your resin pieces. If you take a closer look at this piece, we've just wrapped this and we've taken it out of its packaging and it's left all these small little indentation and patterns of the bubble wrap. Not very attractive and pretty unsightly on a freshly resin piece. The quickest way to fix this problem is to take a heat gun, put it on your lowest setting, and make sure you're in a well-lit room so that you can see all the demarcations that the bubble wrap left. And you're gonna go back and forth in an iron-like motion, making sure that you're not too close to your piece because you don't want to burn the resin on the surface and you'll see it all slowly disappear from the heat gun. And that's your quick fix. Or you can do the tried and true method, take a piece of 80 grit sandpaper, sand the entire thing down, and pour a fresh new coat. In order to prevent this fiasco from happening again, just don't wrap your pieces in bubble wrap. They will leave horrendous and hideous markings. Before you package anything up, you wanna make sure that your piece is cured at least 72 hours. And you can wrap it in glassine, you could wrap it in butcher paper, and here in the studio, we like good old craft paper. Works for us, and it should work for you. So that's it. Done another episode of Oh with Art Resin. We'll see you next time, bitches. You done? Yep. Can you can you talk to Dave? Like, I sent him my melons and I'm waiting for an eggplant back. I don't know what you've seen him. The guy smells like boiled hot dog water. What's wrong with hot dogs? I love hot dogs. Forced meat in the mouth? I... Best. Okay. Um, Best. that's a little far. Um... Best. Stay tuned for our next installment of our O series to help you with all of your screw ups when using art resin. Or you can go a little bit more hardcore and use a vibrating belt sander and you'll just vibrate and all of them. <laughs>